What is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually going to be taking this bad boy to the DMV. It's about 14 miles away and I am going to take it on the trails just since it's like a shortcut from here and I don't want to ride on route one to get there. Yeah, the second day I've had the bike and I'm really excited to get this thing tagged and uh, registered and street legal. That way I'll be able to ride on the highway. Make sure guys, if you want to support your boy Shreddy, check out those links down below. You can get $200 off your Huck Cycles a hundred dollars off any model super 73 bike you want especially that rx and also check out that one stop board shop link down below now they're starting to give up uh 50 off uh evolve boards so use code shreddy pev for that and if you want five percent off accessories on one stop board shop use code shreddy also the rider bag which i don't go anywhere without Use code SHREDDY10 for 10% off of your purchase. I actually have that little uh, spine protector in there, so that way when I do start going faster on this bike, in case anything happens, I have that little peace of mind. I got that link for the TAC Form foam mount, so make sure if you guys are interested in this foam mount, it's been so durable, like the whole time I've been riding the RX, with all the jumps and all the bumps, grass riding and beach riding, it has never dropped my phone, not once. So just check out that link below if you want to support your boy Shreddy. I also want to thank all the recent subscribers, past, present, and future. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here making these videos. Thank you guys so much. All right, guys, let's get on to our journey. It's going to be 14 miles there, like I said. And I just want to let you guys know, even on mode one, if you're not leaning forward, this thing has the torque and it wants to lift you up. Man, this thing's insane. Hey guys, check this out. I just figured it out. So when you turn off the 12 volt system, it doesn't give you any of the eco modes or any of the modes. But once you turn it on, all daytime running lights, see the green sign, the green light to turn on down here. So now I'm limited to like 15 miles an hour. That is cool. So I'm glad I figured that one out, guys. So let's see how people react just to the look of a, the bike. I'm actually just pedaling it and giving it a little bit of throttle, not too much. I'm actually doing most of the work. I don't. Getting some love, getting some love. All right, I'm doing full throttle on mode one and I'm hitting 19 miles an hour. And on here, it says 17, 18 on here. So it's about a mile off. So that's not bad at all. So guys, I haven't been getting any kind of weird looks. Everybody's been waving at me. So just as long as you keep it pretty civil on these trails and don't go 110 miles an hour, everybody takes it pretty good. I haven't gone any faster than, you know, 20 when I was showing you, but nobody is around. But when I see people, I just keep it around 10 miles an hour. So this is supposed to have um, a little bit of regen on the braking in mode one and two. Um, let me see if I actually feel it when I start touching the brakes. Oh yeah, you can actually feel it. That's pretty cool. I bet you that really works when you're on pretty hilly environment, not in Delaware. It's pretty flat around here, guys. I've actually never been to Georgetown, so. Hopefully it's not too crazy around here. I did bring my bike lock. So hopefully I can chain this bike to something. And luckily it has that alarm system, which is awesome. <laughs> and guys, this bike is really, really smooth. The throttle just feels so, so smooth. That's awesome. I really dig it. Let's go to mode two and just... Yeah, that's like such a smooth throttle, guys. Man, this bike just feels so solid. Really happy with the, the look and style of these handlebars. I was thinking about the Moto X ones, but it has that bar that goes across here. So I feel like it, it would obstruct some of the stuff on your display and you might have to pull it like too close, like to your body or down towards the frame more. But I think this is a very cool, nice vintage look to it. All right, guys, we've reached the end of the Georgetown trail. So I guess we're gonna have to ride on the side of the highway 
Uh, we got, it says about 15 minutes to get there, but it's probably going to take a little bit longer since I'm not going as fast as the car. I'll just keep it 20 on this road. Whoa, it's cold and windy again today. And I got my Vans on, so it feels like you're wearing socks while you're riding, so it's freezing. All right, so the top speed on this road is 50. Man, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if I should register this as a motorcycle or a moped. Because I've read that the top speed for mopeds is 25 around here, so I couldn't go faster than 25. But let's see what they say at the DMV and what they recommend. So the only thing, like, so far negative about having knobby tires is the fact that they pick up stones like crazy. And then if, it sounds like you have like a nail in your tire every time. <laughs> so it's kind of confusing sometimes. All right, guys, I've been riding for about, let's see how many miles I got. 10 miles. And these kind of roads really are pretty sketchy without a shoulder. But I've seen a bunch of people on regular uh, bikes, pedal peasants riding on there, no problem. But for me, man, this is kind of sketchy. So I've been riding on mode one, so 10 miles from 84 volts down to 76.9 volts. I have been hitting the turbo button here and there just to get across like, you know, intersections a little safer, but when you, when you just tap it, it boosts you for about two or three seconds. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Just like if you need a little boost to get across the internet uh, intersection or anything. That's what's sketchy, guys. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be on roads like this. I didn't know Georgetown is like, it's pretty much like Redneck City in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. There's nothing around here. I think that's an airport. I haven't seen any cops yet, but if I see any, I'm actually going to stop and ask them what they think about this bike and what they consider, you know, uh, street legal e-bike <laughs> turbo boost man this is crazy i do not like riding on this kind of road i feel like it might be just safer to ride on mode two and just probably stay around 25 plus it's like really windy out today it's ridiculous all right guys i finally made it to the dmv 14 miles later 77.1 volts 69.4 when I give it the full throttle. Uh, destination is on your left. So I got my title, my VIN number, and we're going to see what it takes to get this sucker registered. <laughs> I so dig that alarm system. All right, guys. So unfortunately, I was not able to get it titled or registered today. So what I have to do is call Brett up and get the bill of sales. And then I got to go through inspection so they can check the VIN number on it. So I guess we're going to have to make another video on coming back to the DMV. Oh, this ride really was horrible. It really sucked. <laughs> Oh man, all right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do the same ride again. All right, I'm just gonna put it on mode three since its road is crazy long and I just wanna get home fast because it's kind of cold. I just hit 47 miles an hour. Wow, this thing goes fast. And I figured out last night that I, uh, I can get a programming cable and program this thing to actually go 60 miles an hour. But I have to get that cable and then download some kind of app for the controller. I have all that stuff and uh, Marv and I are gonna definitely get into that and make this bike faster. But I'll definitely do that once I get it registered and uh, you know, perfectly street legal. I could not believe I hit 47 miles an hour and it was still gaining speed. 
That's insane. I just don't want to kill this battery before I get home. Woohoo. I think it's veering me off all weird. Because there's like uneven lines in the road. <clears throat> so it kind of veered me off to the side. Jeez, I can't believe how fast this bike is, guys. It is insane. Well, the DMV registration was a failure today, but I'm definitely gonna have some kind of range test for you guys today. A round trip of 28 miles, mode one on the way there, mode three on the way out, but I don't think I'm gonna go full speed on the way back home. <laughs> I'm, I'm just on 30, I'm just hitting 30 miles an hour right now, guys. But these are like crazy back roads where it doesn't seem like there'll be anybody, so. Let's just book it, see like what the top speed we hit. I'm just gonna hold it down, screw it. Forty seven is the top speed that I hit, guys. So 47 with uh, 73.9 volts left on the battery is probably what I'm gonna get. Oh, hold on. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, guys, I've passed like three cops while riding on a shoulder. And they all looked at me and nothing. I was going about 28 when I saw one of them. So I don't know. Maybe they just think I'm a regular old moped or a bicycle. I don't know. <laughs> this thing definitely does not look like a bicycle. So, man, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping I can get this thing registered and ready to go. But, oh, well. The torque is just ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Luckily, it has not started raining on me and the clouds kind of broke up a little bit. It's just really cold and windy. My feet are frozen, like frozen solid. <laughs> all right, guys, so luckily I took this way home. There was bike lanes in all shoulder, so I definitely felt a lot safer here. So on my way back after I get that bill of sales, I'm taking this way there. <laughs> Forget those bike trails, no way. I'm actually gonna try to ride some of this like off-road stuff up here just to see how these knobby tires feel compared to the super. What in the world? I thought those were real people. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, it's always sketchy riding on the road. I used to have a motorcycle, so I should be used to this, but it's just been so long. All right, I'm supposed to be meeting up with Marv here pretty soon, and we're going to go, uh, I guess we're going to race, but I'm down to 72.2 volts with about three or four miles left on my journey. I'll go back this way. Oh, I don't know if I can pick it up through there. See if I can pick up the front of this thing up here. Ah, there we go. That wasn't actually that bad. What a beautiful view, guys. Hey, like I always said, if you're ever in the Lewis, Delaware area or Dewey Beach or Hoboth, hit your boy Shreddy up. I'll take you on some awesome adventures. And I do have an extra bike, so if you have a friend, I'll let them ride my RX. When I see some grass, you gotta ride it on the grass. Whoa. Oh yeah, see there goes that tank rattling that I was talking about in the last video. 
There's definitely gonna be some rattling tanks going on here. Wow. Oh yeah, Let's see how this handles. Woo! I bet you I can climb that hill super easy now. I'll bet. Oh wow, this ride through this like nothing. Whoa! <laughs> that was a nice little bump. Wow. I know my, uh, my RX couldn't do this going slow, so. Let's see how this handles going slow up this thing. Oh wow. Yeah, this handles these things. <laughs> this definitely handles like nothing. <laughs> yes. That actually makes me really stoked. So bumpy. The old whiskey throttle. <laughs> wow, that's a blast. All right. Nassau Vineyards. Jeez, this <laughs> man, every time I hit this throttle. On mode three, it just like brings a smile to my face. <laughs> Guys, if you're interested, definitely check out that link for the hug cycles below. Get 200 bucks off, use code Shreddy McSkate. Whoa. Almost whiskey throttled. Just gotta make sure you kind of lean forward if you're gonna gun it. <laughs> if you lean back, you kind of pull it up. It's insane. I know I can definitely go fast, like around these roads. I want to see if that, uh, I know the turbo gives me a pretty good boost in uh, mode one and two, but I, I don't know if I really feel it that much in mode three. You definitely feel it. You can feel it clicking in. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to program this thing to go faster. This is so much fun, guys. Yes. All right. I'm going to go to mode one just to be on the trails. I don't whiskey throttle it. You guys want to see how this rides off curbs? I sure as heck do. Smooth. I just can't pull the front up that hard. Oh, the mode one, there's like no speed on this. <laughs> volts still left on this. And just remember guys, this one dies at 60 volts. And we started at 84 volts. All right, mode three. Yeah. 
I know I shouldn't be going this fast on the sidewalk. So let me slow it down, guys, before Karen hits me up. <laughs> guys, it's funny. I posted the last video on Reddit, and there are so many Karens on Reddit. It's so funny. Oh, my God. Like, the first person in the comment is, are you going to register it? If, you're going to have to register it. Whoa. Like, oh, I'm, I know. But I didn't want to tell them that I was going to make a video about registering it. But other people chimed in. <laughs> they started being jerks. But whatever. The world is full of haters. Life is too short to be a hater. Have fun. Love life. Live it up. All right, guys. That's the end of our journey. Going to end the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed that little ride to the DMV, even though it wasn't successful. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification. Oh, no, it's not a bell, but still, it's close, right? <laughs> and are you guys ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next ride.